Hi, my name is James from the aquarium team here at Kellyville Pets. I own everything from a goldfish to an anemone, and I'm here to show you how to test your water. To test your water, you're going to be using the Aquasonic Test Kit Bundle that includes pH, ammonia and nitrite. Testing the pH is very straightforward. It's as simple as filling the vial to the 15ml mark and adding three drops. You'll get an almost instant reading. You want to hold the vial up to the chart given to you with the test kit to compare the results. Your pH should be about 7.0. As I have just tested my pH, my pH is a little bit too high, but thankfully the Aquasonic test kits include adjusters so I can simply add a bit of pH down and now my water is ready for fish. Testing the ammonia is very easy. It's as simple as filling up the vial to the 5ml mark adding one scoop of the powder and four drops of the given liquid. Patience is key with the ammonia test as you may have to wait up to five minutes to see the results. After five minutes, compare the results to the chart given to you. Your ammonia in your aquarium should be at zero before you add any fish or livestock to your aquarium. The reason for this is ammonia is waste buildup in the water and by having too much waste in your water, this can potentially harm, poison and kill your fish. The last thing you have to test for in your aquarium is nitrite. Nitrite is a byproduct of ammonia that is broken down by nitrate and because it's a byproduct of ammonia, it can have the same effects that ammonia can on your fish, essentially poisoning them and potentially killing them. So you need your nitrite to be at zero. Testing your nitrite is also very easy. It's as simple as filling up the vial to the 5ml mark and adding three drops of each of the given liquid. Compare your results to the chart that's given to you with the test kit. If any of your readings are out, give us a call or head down to Kellyville Pets Aquarium Department where we have all your aquatic needs.